Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. Students, today we are going to do Atal Pension Yojana, very important government scheme students for IBPS, RRB, GBO, Scale 2 and Scale 3 exam. If you are Scale 2, Scale 3 exam, ki preparation kar rahe hai, then government schemes are really important for your exam. Today we are going to do 17, I guess 18 important questions from Atal Pension Yojana. Go through this session and that would be more than sufficient for your exam. Stay updated for the updates. If you have any update or change in the scheme, I'll let you know on this channel. Okay. My name is Ramandeep Singh students and I'm teaching for IBPS, RRB, GBO, Scale 2, Scale 3 and other lateral entry exams from last 10 years. And till now, I have taught more than 30,000 students and I got more than 1000 selections, 1000 super selections we got and there are 2.5 lakhs, more than 2.5 lakhs subscribers on my YouTube channel and my blog bank exams today attracts like more than 50,000 page views every day and this is my WhatsApp number if you want to contact me ever you can do that and IBPS RRB GBO scale 2 scale 3 course we have already started it and we are providing video classes, no quizzes and the test series let's move on to the uh, Atal Pension Yojana let me just hide myself let's start the session okay okay so Atal Pension Yojana scheme introduced by the government of India in 2015 and 16 so please remember the pointers ki sabse pehle to government of India ne introduce ki hai 2015-16 mein thik hai so who is the target audience target audience kaun hai uh, the people in the unorganized sector jo unorganized sector mein kaam kar rahe hain who are not a taxpayers who hai target market okay uh, what is the goal to provide pension unorganized sector ke logon ko workers ko uh, pension provide karna after the age of 60 60 ki age ke baad to all the citizens of india india ke sare citizens ko especially who are in the unorganized sector and who do not have jinke paas koi aur pension ka scheme nahi hai who are not having any other pension scheme so what are the features? So this scheme, so pehle to, uh, at the age of minimum age of 18, 18 ki age pe you can start investing. Okay. So agar ab jaldi invest karna start karenge, if you are uh, starting to invest early in your uh, lifespan, then the amount would be less. The premium amount would be less. Okay. The scheme enables a person to receive a periodic monthly payment of 1000 rupee, 2000 rupee, 3000, 4000 or 5000. 5000 is the maximum. Maximum pension amount is 5000. Minimum pension amount is 1000 after the age of 60 years until the death of the subscriber. After the age of 50 years until the death of the subscriber. So if the subscriber of the scheme dies, the spouse is entitled to get the exact same pension amount as a subscriber. So in case, agar death ho jati hai subscriber ki, before 60 years, 60 saal ki age se pehle, then the spouse is going to get the benefits. Okay, the spouse is going the benefits. Uh, both subscribers and spouse dies, the nominee will receive the accumulated corpus in the lump sum. In case both subscribers and the spouse die, the nominee will get all the, you know, jo bhi accumulated corpus, hai, he'll sh that person would get it, okay. The contribution can be made monthly, quarterly or half yearly, okay. And the amount of contribution depends upon the age of the contribution, uh, age of the contributor frequency and the amount of pension that is desired after the age of 60. Contribution increases as as the age of contributor or the monthly pension amount increases. So, ये एक मोटा मोटा अटल पेंशन योजना का फीचर्स हैं. The government also that's a really important concept. So, between uh, in 2015, uh, anybody who joined the scheme during 2015, June 2015 to December 2015, for five years the government co-contributed 50% of the contribution. Or rupees thousand, whichever is lower, okay. So uh, the scheme is regulated by PFRDA. So government ne bhi paan saal ke liye contribute kiya tha 2015 se 2020 tak contribute kiya tha in this scheme. And the scheme is controlled and regulated by PFRDA. So please remember all these pointers are really really important. Government ne bhi contribute kiya tha taxation aage aayega how it is taxed. 
यू गेट द एडिशनल टैक्स बेनिफिट्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर दैट डोंट वरी ठीक है सो लेट्स डू सम क्वेश्चन बिफोर डूइंग दैट टैक्स बेनिफिट्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस स्कीम इज टारगेटेड एट अनऑर्गेनाइज वर्कमैन हु आर नॉट लाइबल टू पे इनकम टैक्स जो इनकम टैक्स ये ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू में ही हुआ है एनी बडी हुज नॉट लाइबल टू पे इनकम टैक्स बट पहले इन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन दीज बेनिफिट्स फॉर अवेलेबल ऑल द टैक्स बेनिफिट्स विच आर अवेलेबल टू एन पी एस बेनिफिशरीज एन पी एस सब्सक्राइबर्स नेशनल पेंशन स्कीम द सेम बेनिफिट्स आर अवेलेबल इन द अटल पेंशन योजना सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वन पॉइंट फाइव लैक का डिडक्शन अंडर सेक्शन ए टी सी अडिशनल फिफ्टी थाउजेंड का बेनिफिट अंडर सेक्शन ए टी सी सी डी सो दैट आर इट इज देयर एंड फर्दर द सेविंग्स द बेनिफिट ऑफ इन द सेविंग्स में जो भी आप अर्न कर रहे हो दोज आर ऑल्सो एग्जेप्टेड फ्रॉम टैक्स सो दीज आर द थ्री टैक्स बेनिफिट अंडर द अटल पेंशन योजना लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू डू कुछ एक टॉपिक शायद हमने नहीं कवर किए हैं इन द इन द फीचर्स पार्ट We are going to cover that in our questions. What is the minimum age to join Atal Pension Yojana? Minimum age is 18 years. Minimum age is 18 years. Okay. Maximum age to join is 40 years. 18 से 40 साल तक आप इसको join कर सकते हो. Now this slide is also very important. Eligibility for Atal Pension Yojana 18 to 40 years should have a saving bank account. You should make a contribution for a minimum 20 years. 20 साल तक आपको contribution करना है. And annual income should be below taxable limit. These are this is the eligible uh, eligibility criteria for Atal Pension Yojana. I hope you have noted that. Question number two: The maximum pension amount that can be received under Atal Pension Yojana minimum is 1000. Minimum rupees 1000 that is guaranteed by the government. Maximum is Rupees five thousand. Five thousand is the max. Minimum is one thousand. And twenty years sir, uh, you have to contribute. Okay. The co-contribution. Uh, anybody who has joined between June twenty fifteen and December twenty fifteen, the government is going to contribute fifty percent of the total contribution, or one thousand, whichever is lower. Which regulatory authority regulates Atal Pension Yojana? PFRDA, as I explained in the explanation, what is the penalty for delayed payment under the Atal Pension Yojana? Penalty क्या लगती है? Rupees one to rupees ten, depending upon the contribution amount. अगर delay करते हैं payment account में पैसा नहीं है, then this is the penalty amount. The minimum contribution period under the Atal Pension Yojana. All these questions are really really important. जितने भी question कर रहे हैं, all these questions are really really important. मिनिमम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पीरियड इज 20 इयर्स 20 इयर्स का मिनिमम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पीरियड है व्हाट इज द मिनिमम मंथली पेंशन अमाउंट दैट कैन बी रिसीव्ड अंडर अंडर अटल पेंशन योजना रुपीस 1000 इज द मिनिमम पेंशन अमाउंट दैट कैन बी रिसीव्ड अंडर द अटल पेंशन योजना स्कीम एंड व्हाट इज द मोड ऑफ पेमेंट फॉर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन अंडर अटल पेंशन योजना एंड यू हैव टू डू एन ऑटो डेबिट फ्रॉम योर सेविंग्स बैंक अकाउंट सो सेविंग बैंक अकाउंट में आपको ऑटो डेबिट जैसे आपकी बाइक कार की यू नो ईएमआई कटती है सिमिलरली व्हाट इज द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फॉर अवेलिंग गवर्नमेंट्स को कंट्रीब्यूशन अंडर अटल पेंशन योजना द सब्सक्राइबर शुड नॉट बी पार्ट ऑफ एनी अदर स्टेचुटरी सोशल सिक्योरिटी स्कीम और शुड नॉट बी पेइंग इनकम टैक्स देन यू कैन रिसीव द गवर्नमेंट्स को कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन बेनिफिट जो पाँच साल तक गवर्नमेंट ने दिया था वट हैपन्स इफ The subscriber exits the scheme before attaining 60 years. अगर 60 साल से पहले आप स्कीम को एग्जिट करते हो वॉट आर द बेनिफिट दैट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट वॉट वॉट आर द अमाउंट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट गवर्नमेंट ने जो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट किया है वो आपको नहीं मिलेगा वॉट एवर द अमाउंट यू हैव कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड वॉट एवर योर यू नो कॉर्पस यू हैव वो आपको मिलेगा राइट यू विल रिसीव योर सेल्फ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन विद इंटरेस्ट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गेट द गवर्नमेंट्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ठीक है The tax benefits are available under section ATC and ATCCD. ATC के under one lakh fifty thousand and ATCCD के under additional fifty thousand. One lakh fifty thousand का deduction आपको ATC पे मिलेगा and fifty thousand का ATCCD. Anyways, now the eligibility for Atal Pension Yojana is that you shouldn't be an uh, income tax paying uh, payer. आप income tax अगर pay करते हो then you are not eligible under Atal Pension Yojana. At what age pension starts under Atal Pension Yojana? At the age of sixty, your pension starts. Really important question. 
what is the target uh, market or target who is the target beneficiaries who are grammatical mistake so who are the target beneficiaries for atal pension yojana launched by the government of india uh, unorganized sector workers are the target beneficiaries which of the following statement is true regarding the eligibility of an employee or uh, central state government of psu undertaking subscriber to subscribe atal pension yojana they can subscribe uh, to the atal pension yojana but their age should be between 18 to 40 and they should be the an indian citizen an indian citizen between the age of 18 to 40 can uh, join atal pension yojana they can subscribe to the scheme what happens if to the atal pension yojana account if the subscriber dies before the age of 60 years agar 60 se pehle if they uh, if they die then the corpus uh, will be established in spouse name or the subscriber spouse can choose to con uh, continue contributing to APY account until the subscriber would have turned 60 years old. I, either you can continue subscribing, continue paying in the Atal Pension Yojana or uh, you know that will come to your name. Okay, so this is the benefit. Aapki jo spouse hai, uske naam pe transfer ho jayega scheme. In case of voluntary premature exit before the age of 60, the subscriber is entitled to receive uh, the return on yes, repeat ho gaya question government ka contribution you are not going to get. Okay. What is the name of previous pension scheme that was replaced by Atal Pension Yojana? Swam Lamban, uh, Swam Lamban, Swam Lamban Yojana, Tongue Twister. B is the correct answer that was replaced by Atal Pension Yojana who are not eligible to receive government co contribution under Atal Pension Yojana income tax payers if you are paying income tax then you are not eligible to receive co contribution by Atal uh, co contribution by the government government aapko co contribute nahi karegi agar aap income tax pay kar rahe ho. so side effects of paying income tax IBPS RRB scale 2 scale 3 GBO 2023 course students we have already started on bankexamstudy.com the exam is going to be held in the month of September and today is the best day to start your preparations we are doing in-depth research we are providing video classes notes quizzes test series power capsules on bankexamstudy.com if there is any doubt in your mind this is our whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts so we have mobile apps on Android, iOS, uh, and also on the iOS uh, platform. And you can also access the course on our uh, web dashboard on your laptop or desktop. So that's all for today, students. I hope you like the session. Uh, list of our successful students who took our Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Officer course, all these students that took our course, and they successfully got the final selection. Best of luck for them. All these students, they took our courses in the previous years and they got final selections in RRB GBO scale 2 and scale 3 2022, 21 and also in the 2020 years, 2019. All these students, they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. Next can be you. Okay, now start your preparation quickly. Link to join the courses is available in the description. That's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.